in that last tutorial, I showed you the three ways to do text wraps, but I want to show you a feature that has to do with text wraps and your preferences. So if I go to file and open, I'm in the same folder, number 10 in chapter five. And remember from a previous tutorial, I said I had this one called pull quote wraps. So here I've already set up a file. Okay, I've got a nice text wrap going around this circle. And I want the words, the Bigfoot monster to show right here in this yellow. But when I pull it in there, the type disappears. Okay, and I'm gonna zoom in. Basically, what's happening here is when I click on this circle and I go to window, text wrap, nothing when you apply a text wrap nothing can go on top of that circle or underneath it for that matter that's why you do a text wrap so this little type box has an overflow this circle is pushing the type out of the way see if i put it up here the type shows up if i put it next to it it shows up but when i put it on it boom pushes it out of the way okay it's pushing it out of the way I want my type sitting on top of this circle, but the text wrap is working against me. The text wrap is pushing the article around it. That's great, but I want type on top. I can't have both by default, but there is a trick, okay? Text wrap is like an invisible boundary that shoots up into the sky. Nothing goes into that boundary. It's like a big tube, you can't go inside. But I need my text to go inside, so here is the trick. InDesign Preferences Composition. There is one tiny little button that says text wrap only affects text beneath the photo or beneath the object. So I'm gonna turn that on now when I click OK, I can put text on top of a text wrap because this type is on top of the circle. This type is below the circle. You can see that right here. My picture is way up here. My body copy is way down here. So the text wrap only affects text below the circle, not on top of it. So I could just pull this edge over like this, put the Bigfoot monster right there, hit W, and there we go. Now I got my text working the way I wanted it to because this text wrap was killing it. And unless I knew that tiny little button in my preferences, I would never be able to put type here. That would really screw up my design. So again, that is under InDesign, Preferences, composition watch what happens to the word bigfoot monster when i turn this off boom it disappears i got a text wrap can't put my type over a text wrap okay so be aware of that little button there in preferences it can really save a design there you go